Hello and welcome back to Something of Everything. In this tutorial we will show you the structural tooltip options. Structural tooltip options offer a facility for displaying any customized input or output information about a node being plate or solid element when the mouse cursor is placed over the structural entity. When we press the mouse cursor here, it shows that it is a beam 2. When we select the node cursor and hover over the node it shows you number 2 that is the node number is 2 when we select plate cursor and hover over the plate or select the plate it shows that it is a plate number 6 the tooltips are similar to the ones displayed when the mouse cursor hovers over a toolbar icon when the mouse cursor goes over any toolbar it shows the identification of that tool and some kind of instructions that you can use to use that tool so to change the structural tooltip options you have to go to view and click on structural tooltips options as you can see node number displacement and support are on whatever you check mark will be seen in the options pre-processing or post-processing and it will show after 500 milliseconds you can reduce it to 200 milliseconds you can see the coordinates of beams you can see the length of beams you can see the property of beam and you can see the releases of beam we don't want to see the releases in the case of plate also you can see the property or many other options you have to check mark or uncheck mark it to view or hide the same press ok and now when we go to plate it shows you plate 6 because there is no property given to it it is not showing let's select the beam when we hover over the beam it shows us the start and end like green and blue the beam length is 6000 mm the section is 0 0.35 by 0 0.28 american and its properties also that is ax ix iy when we select the node cursor and hover over the node it shows us the coordinate of the node this way you can change the tooltip options to get the most out of the hovering over the structural elements and in the properties all you can get is only name if you uncheck this one let's see the beam again now that we go on the beam and we get land and section to easily identify the model element without going to the tables of properties or anything else thank you for watching this video do like share and subscribe the same thank you